Hey, my Brookfields here. Hope you enjoyed the uh, Albert King video there last week. Uh, Albert King, Blues Licks in A, kind of whatever it was titled. Guided practice number 11. And this is guided practice number 12. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to take some BB King um, and we're going to play some uh, classic BB King licks as well in, in the key of A. Now, uh, we all know the uh, Live at the Regal classic uh, blues album. The first track is Every Day I Have the Blues. Um, and that's a blues in B flat. Um, now, uh, if you're a real blues man, there's no problem playing in, in the key of B flat. You're probably a bit of a jazzer as well, so you're used to playing in, in you know, um, uh, flat keys. And let's face it, you know, um, if you're playing with horn players, saxophone players, trumpet, you're going to play in B flat and F and and those kind of keys a lot. Now, as guitar players, we do like playing in A, um, and it's a good thing to do uh, if you're trying to get uh, these licks into your playing because often when you um, you're jamming with your friends you're playing blues in a um, and you're trying to incorporate your kind of blues phrasing into uh, different songs and stuff like that and they tend to be in sharp keys like a g you know uh, d e that kind of thing so um so what we're going to do today is we're going to take every day i have the blues we don't have to down tune or do anything weird play in b flat we're just going to play in a all i've done is taken the uh, pitch of the original track, uh, no, down, down a tone, so we can just play it in A. Um, you know, uh, we all love playing slow blues and stuff like that, but it's important that you practice playing up-tempo stuff as well, because if you go to a jam session, you get up and the first tune you have to play in public is kind of like, you know, further up the road or I'm tour down or Sweet Home Chicago or something like that, which is up-tempo blues, you know, and you've just been practicing slow blues, you want to have some of these kind of jump style uh, lines and phrases in your playing. So essential stuff coming at you today. Please go to uh, Patreon and download the uh, tab. It is free. All you have to do is become a free member. Thanks to everybody who's um, joined and become a uh, keep it burning member it's only a tenner a month and it motivates me to uh keep doing these videos you know uh I'd, I'd say without that i wouldn't be here today i'd be off doing something else uh but so thank you very much um for uh everybody who signed up to do that so go there i'd grab the pdf first and then as i go through the licks you can look at them and listen to them and and uh, work through them. So we're not. A, it's not really about learning the solo to like every day I have the blues. It's just trying to get into BB King's style because um, BB's got a beautiful style. He's the king of the blues, and you know he he can navigate these kind of fast up jump kind of style blues. Uh, let's check it out. We've got a lot of little phrases to get through. Don't be um, fooled into thinking some of the phrases all sound a bit samey. The devil is in the detail, and I find that. With B.B. King and some of these guys, it's on the turnaround. It's the last four bars of a blues that you really get some juicy stuff. So hang in there to the end when you're learning these things to make sure you get the, the cool licks. You know, here we go. <laughs> so you get... You know, so it's, uh, make sure you can play the chords, of course. So A7, D7, B minor 7, C7. It's so slightly different to your regular, um, your regular 12 bar in the fact that it's got a 2-5 style turnaround, you know? Okay, let's play that lick again. So he goes... So classic uh, stuff that you can even go, you can use that kind of slap thing we were doing with uh, Albert King. If you want, you know. Um, also like, what's interesting about that is he slides into that major third. that mixture of major and minor thirds. Let's check out the next lick. Yeah, so classic. You know, you're in the E form one minute, you're in the D form the next. Bish, bash, bish, bash, bosh. Going backwards and forwards all the time, whether you're Eric Clapton or BB King or whatever, you're all constantly that, the, you know, I call it the shed. 
and chuck. So constantly weaving, but how do you seamlessly go from one to the other? Well, a really good one is the BB King where you slide with your first from here to here. That's a really good at transitioning from that area to this area. And you see everyone from Kenny Wayne Shepherd to Clapton do that. So you've got that. Um... Okay, really good stuff, useful stuff there. Here we go. So you slide and then slide into the major third again. Oh, it's supposed to be slide. You know, I intuitively did a bend on the minor there, but it's a slide into the major third. It could be small things like that when you're listening and you go, why does he sound so cool? Why does he sound, you know, better than your average dude? Um, here we go. Uh, now we're into the, that was the intro solo. Now we're into the main guitar solo. So. And again, using the minor and major third. Rhythmically. Boom, ba da. Boom, ba da. So beautiful stuff next. And again. So he's using that transition again. So, uh, where were we? Classic stuff. So, this is where you, because he's ending on the root a lot, you start to think that it all is kind of getting a bit samey, but there's lots of different things moving around. So really get into it. So there he's going, it's kind of a, a thing we've done a few times and then goes, and then he bends the major third. And then slides into the major third. So that last bit. You know, really nice stuff going on there. Okay, and then he goes into the second chorus. There's only three more kind of phrases, really, but the juicy ones. <laughs> can hear him change the pick up like it's almost within the band he's kind of go he's kind of go as he bends he he's flipping his uh pick up so he's going so i'll, I'll do that again i'll try and incorporate the pick up slips so nice when he kind of that biting tone isn't it and then and again yeah it's cool so 
So one more time. And then this is my, if you're still here, you win because you get the best lick of the lot. Okay, let's check it out. Uh, this is the last phrase. So. It's like Charlie Christian. But that's not it, there's one little bit more. Really uh, super cool that I'm gonna put that back. We'll listen again. Right, it's actually... so getting into that major, sliding into the major, into the minor. So and then you got. You can hear the. E9 chord there, can you? And then... Whoa, love it! BB King licks in the key of A, up jumping blues. You've got to get a little bit of that into your playing if you're going to go to jam sessions or just have fun playing the blues. But you know this. Um, I'm sure you're going to pass on some of your wisdom in the comments below like i say go to patreon download the chart um let us know uh, how you're getting on and um if you dig it think about signing up as a uh, you know to support the channel and all that kind of stuff it's just a few quid a month okay uh, keep it burning i'll speak to you soon